So welcome back to my channel, my dear lovely viewers. Today I will be showing you guys as promised uh, the video. This is a video on how to go about running smart contracts on Fuel Network using Tamios. So uh, if you're joining for the first time, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and to help you and help each other. Don't forget to click on that notification sign so that you can always get the videos as early as possible to avoid uh, running tasks when everything is closed already. So just pay attention and make sure you follow this process as it is done in the video, please. So uh, without wasting much of our time, let's go straight ahead to what we need to do. So the first thing I need you guys to do is make sure you have your sorry, make sure you have your fuel wallet installed. You can see I have my fuel wallet installed and make sure you have fees. Make sure you have fee. That's faucets. We need fuel faucets. So here you would see my own wallet right here. You can see I have 0 0.5 ETH for faucets. If you don't have faucet, you see where it will show you uh, uh get faucets. So it will redirect you to this page, which will show you it will already carry your address. All you just need to do is click on claim. Once you claim faucets within a minute, the faucet will drop in your wallet. So once you drop, you are good. Then you can go to your Tamios. And if you're using Gitpod, you can go ahead. But I always advise to use Tamios because it makes your work faster, and it it doesn't also stress your PC because that uh, BPS helps in enhancing the speed and space for your PC. So let's go without wasting much of our time. So here is it. This is these are the codes I'll be using. Uh, so let's. This is the first code here, but for the sake of the video, to avoid wasting much of much time in the video i will advise you you run it one line by line you run it line each line as it is here i'll drop uh, a medium link in the video description uh, video description uh, description section where you can copy all these notes from i would paste every code in the video description i will, I will post it on my medium uh, account once i post it there then the link to this code in the medium i'll drop it in the video description section so here right now the first thing I'll do, I'll do this. You can actually do the same, but just for you to know if there is any place you're making an error, you might not know if you copy a lot at the same time. So that's why I advise you use it line by line. So here, this is what I'll do first. I'll, I'm copying the first five lines. Now come here. When you're using Tamios, for those who have watched my previous video, you know that when you're pasting on Tamios, it is Control Shift V. So when you do Control Shift V, you see everything is downloading while it's downloading you go check for the next code it will request for source this uh, cargo so once it requests for that that will be the next thing we'll be pasting there so here right now let's go back and check so you see it's asking me if i want to install i'll say proceed with installation which is one option one and i'll click enter it said warning updating existing tool chain profile choice will be ignored blah 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 Rust is installed. Great. So that means we are done. So you can see the next thing is requesting for is the source. Home, cargo, blah, 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 which you have. And that's what I'll be pasting. So you can see it here. So it, it, might, not, it might not make uh, any effect. So don't worry. Just go ahead. So I'll go ahead to this. Control C. You can, you can do line by line. And you can paste at a time. But I will advise you to do uh, line by line once again. So this is the next, and we'll go for next as well, which is curve. Okay. Come here, you copy, you go back, control shift V. Then you paste once again. So it's asking, would you like fuel up in it to modify your path variable for you? You say yes, which is Y. Click on Y to download the path. After downloading the path, it says it already exists. Yes, because I've done it before. Um, I've used the same uh, nodes. So here, I've used the same binary code rather. So now we'll go back to the code and we'll use export. Go, Control Shift V, and you paste. So you go back to the code, use the source rule. This might show you error like access permission denied or thereabout. Just ignore and continue. 
okay there's no there's no response but just go ahead or better still i'll do this to see but no to avoid confusing you guys let's just go ahead control c control shift v well up okay fuel chain is uh fuel tool chain is installed then fuel up before beta 4 control shift v yes okay everything is going smoothly well up control c control control shift v and just type this without having to to copy and paste this now control c here control shift v please pay attention there is a particular place that is complex it says cannot create directly for a project because it exists ignore you won't be seeing this error because you you are doing it for the first time the reason why mine is showing this is because i'm not doing it for the first time and i didn't reset my a VPS that's why it's showing you so don't worry just ignore so we'll come here control C then we'll do control shift V yes. you can see no much response just ignore and continue control C go for next line control shift V enter if you wish to initiate a force project inside this directory, consider using a force init pass counter contract. Okay. Just copy, control C. Just continue doing exact. Just continue your stuff. Except you see an error that you've not been seeing in this video. That's when you know that there is issue. I'm saying this for those who doesn't have any idea about how to run code. So you click on enter. So he said, okay, everything is fine. Move to the next. Vim, pay a very, very good attention here. It is very, very important. Pay a very important. Make sure you pay very, very good attention here. So just watch what I do. Paste. So you can see here, the next thing you need to do now is just press alphabet I. I. I for insert. Click on I. You see that it shows insert here now. After pressing the I. Then just press V. So you can see the V I just pressed now. It just shows here. Don't worry. There is no issue. Just click on delete. Just hold on delete button to delete everything you're seeing here. Uh, uh, that's backspace. To delete everything you're seeing here. So once you're done deleting everything, you now go back to your code. You can see I, 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 I use I. V, then now delete everything. Then now copy this contract till this side. Copy it just as it is. Want to see? Then come down here. No, oh, sorry. Go back to Atamias. Then paste. Control Shift V. Anytime you make mistake, instead of Control Shift V and you use Control V, it will pop up some errors before your code when you paste correctly make sure you clear them before you paste the code and enter if not you'll be getting error please I, I should have said this earlier but it's still not too late please make sure you correct that if not you'll be having issues and you might even scatter your tamios uh, directories so here after after clicking this you go back just check you can see you now do escape as you can see here press escape key type this then type this so to escape is just to take it off from insert mode. While W uh, will save the changes you made, then Q would uh, would uh, would just close the document. It means you're done with it. So now the first thing we need to do is to click on escape. You can see the insert has disappeared. Then you now use this colon W. Then enter. So you can see. Then now you now use colon then q then enter you can see it has exit the page now it has closed the page then we'll continue with our code which is uh counter contract to c then control shift v enter 
the next force bridge which you see then control shift V hold on make sure you always let it finish downloading the code so you can see it's done then we'll go for the next now we need to import our wallet if you already have an existing this is the code you will use you are importing but if you are doing this for the first time you are to do uh, create new account so now i'm importing a wallet because i have an existing wallet but you might still face issue that you cannot import due to one error or the other just pay attention and watch what i will do then control c you are importing wallets make sure you don't make mistake of importing then imputing the code for creating wallet again you will confuse everything and you might end up losing everything you might have to start again because you, you are not familiar with the code so you won't even know how to correct your code so please pay attention so click enter so now i need to enter my mnemonic phrase for me to continue the mnemonic phrase of this wallet this particular wallet so now i'll have to copy my mnemonic phrase which you all know if i if you are pasting the phrase it will not even show but for me to copy here i have to pause the video i'm coming so as it is now i have copied i've copied my phrase already so now it's just for me to paste so as you can see i've pasted i've pasted the phrase but it's not showing anything that's how it's made just for security purposes i'll click on enter so now it's saying i should enter a password to encrypt this private key so now i'll also enter a password and it will not show anything as well then i'll click enter when i'm done then it will ask me to confirm which i will also enter without showing and i'll click enter at the same time as well so you can see it's saying file uh with this already exists blah 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 because i've done it before i'm just using this for the sake of tutorial it's not a second wallet or something i'm using just one single wallet so just so that i will show you guys on how to go about it that's why i'm doing this because i, I use the existing wallet i've been using so here after that you now you now come to deploy you are not using this please don't make that mistake then you come here use deploy this is where you have the error this is where the error has been coming except if you are lucky it goes once so let's say Control shift v to deploy deploy testnet we are lucky it will go if we are not it will, it will pop up error now it will ask us to enter the password so after the password you determine whether everything is fine or not you still enter the password it will still not really show anything So it says please provide wallet and i have done that so now it says please provide the index of account to use for signing the index of account now let me show you what you need just pay attention what you need all you need to put here just press zero once you press zero click on enter it will ask you yes or no just click on y you see we are very we are very lucky this time doing the video everything is going fine there was no error so I just hope you guys watch this video immediately, immediately and do it immediately. I think the issue has been resolved. When I did mine earlier, I had to do a, take a different approach, which was kind of longer process. But here, everything is fine. And because of that, you can go directly. You can see. You can see it will show you, it will show you uh, the contract ID, the contract uh, counter contract deployed and everything. So now all you need to do for you to be sure that this contract you did is actually working fine and it did work. go to your wallet now i'm even glad everything worked well and fine on this so now you see check this okay okay my not see is here I will, I will show you something i'm coming just watch and see you see there is no transaction history here there's no transaction history so why i knew there was something wrong why i knew there was something wrong is this there is no transaction history and compare this wallet address you're seeing here 1298 so now let's go back to the wallet you see this is the wallet it's deploying you see the end is 3p4 which means probably this is not 
it's because I've tried several wallets just to show, just to, just to confirm if the wallet was what was having issue. So it must have picked a random wallet I did. So now I need to import the wallet just to see what exactly which of the wallet uh, was the last one that picked on the stuff. So I will do that right away. Just pay attention. So as you can see now, this is the wallet. So you can see the wallet itself just got debited. Uh, the charge the uh, amount for fee so you can see 3p4 is the end while here as well is the same 3p4 you can see so i just got the exact wallet now so now if you come here uh, you will see these various transactions and these transaction details then you can now go back to the wallet i'm very sure you you don't have to go through the all this i i went through because then there was a lot of issues deploying the smart contract so I had to be testing different wallets. So, but for now, you can see, come to transaction history. You can see, you can see four minutes ago, the uh, the transaction uh, affected uh, on this PC. You can see, I did a lot, trying a lot. So now you can see here, this is UHU at the end. Just to be sure, this is what we did, even though the time has actually clarified that we did it no no long, which is the recent one. So you can always confirm and check when you can go to uh okay this contract deployed now if you want to check we have to go to uh fuel explorer so when you go to fuel explorer you will see exactly what we need but without wasting much time on the video i won't have to be going there but now if you go to uh, explorer you can just go to you can, even if you don't know what uh, what the url you can just search fuel explorer search for fuel explorer and just paste your contract address once you paste it there once you paste it it will show you everything you have done on that wallet and from there you would see the transactions that has happened on your wallet and uh Everything you've actually done, even the previous testnet, if you're using the same beta, so you will be able to see it. So without not having to confuse you, I don't have to go deep down on that. So that's how to go about. All you need to do is just to paste your wallet here. So that's it. So thank you very much, guys, for watching my video. And I, uh, okay, sorry, no instance found for this. So uh, that the most important thing is actually what we've done. And you can, as you can see, these are the recent transactions we have on, on the chain. So without, it's still in development mode. So there might be a lot of things that will not work. But most important thing you need to pay attention to is when you come here, you notice that you've done transaction and it show you contract ID. The reason why my wallet might not be popping up is because from uh, the guide I read, it shows that. The contract might not actually impact instantly on their explorer so sometimes it's it's not immediately you do it that you'll be seeing it on the explorer it might take some time before you can see but the most important thing is that it has shown us our deployment id and contract id then on our wallet we've also seen and the impact that yes a transaction took place in the wallet so that's the most important thing it will definitely record on the explorer even if it doesn't show immediately so that's that's all for this particular video and thank you very much for watching the video guys. See you in my next video. Bye. Don't forget to like and share as well. Subscribe to the channel also. Thank you guys. Bye.